DSP PNG Hunters will be sacrificing a lot this season to be based down at the Gold Coast in Australia. But to the team, this plan to spend the rest of the season in Australia is not new. Last season, just after playing one match in the opening round of the Intra Super Cup season in 2020, the team was faced with the same dilemma to stay in Australia to play out the rest of the season. The Hunters left for their first game in Brisbane. And like uh, CEO Stanley Ondina said, they left thinking that they were going to come back after three days. So imagine you packing your bag for three days, you head across to Brisbane, play the first game, and you're told to stay for an extra five days, and then they shut down the border, and the boys were asked to make the decision to stay back in Australia and play the full season. And um, most all of us who were associated with rugby league were touched when we got word after the bo coach had met with the boys that the older boys had made the decision to stay back, make the sacrifice to stay back in Australia and play the whole of 2020 season uh, in Australia. So give the Hunters team a round of applause. Papua New Guinea Rugby Football League chairman Sandy Saka said the team are sacrificing a lot to keep the Hunters playing in the Queensland Interest Super Cup and a very noble decision from the players to keep this program continuing for the benefit of Rugby League. 11 new boys have joined, but the, the 17 boys that remain with the team, uh, that, that's the caliber of the team we have. Boys that are willing, continuing to, willing to sacrifice uh, their life, their family, and their time to you know, save the jersey and you know, that brand with pride. So. Uh, we know you going away this year, you will continue that culture, so we have every confidence in that. Sandy Saka, who has been chairman of the PNG RFL since the Hunters' inception in 2014, encouraged the team to trust their teammates and the processes of the Hunters for the 2021 season. My short message to the boys. Um, it really doesn't matter whether you're playing at the NFS or you're playing at uh, Ipswich or Burley Bears. It's just uh, you 17 or 13 boys on the field. Whether it's 15,000 here or 500 at a park in Brisbane, the rules are gonna, still going to be the same. It's going to be 13 on 13 with two touches on the side and a referee in the middle. Most importantly, trust your systems and processes. That's the hunter's value. But more importantly, trust the man next to you. Play for each other. Fidelis Sukina, Trukai Sports.